everybody, and welcome back for some more Ravenhurst. And it's Horde Night Day. Horde Night Prep Day. Uh, should probably check what I've got in my bike, because I need to make sure that I've brought everything that I need to rebuild the other <laughs> base with, because it was a shambles when I left it. I've got our 31 landmines. Got some stews, got some cobble, got some flagstone, got some brick to do some of it in a bit, a bit of a stronger material. Um, got some food, got some water, got some antibiotics, vitamins, plaster cast, splints, painkillers. Yes. What else? And I've got all my spikes. I'm trying to think what else I might need. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think. Is there anything I've forgotten? I'm really not sure. I've got enough fuel on the bike to get there and back easily. Uh, yeah, I've got all the medicine. I've got the, the bits and pieces for that. I've got all the different types. I've got ammunition. Uh, it's hard to think. Hmm. Might. Oh, I know what I might want. I know I'm. I made my. I made my cage at the other place, didn't I? I've got a cage and I've got a door on it, so I don't need to bring any more iron bars. But I could bring some iron bars. I'll make some iron bars. It was probably not a bad idea to have a few of those just in case I need them, and I'll need them for building stuff here, regardless. Oh, a bed. Uh, I should, my bed should still be there, so I should just be able to pick it up and put it back down. I think. That's how it worked last week. Uh, Alex, it's, yes, this is early, but I'm, I'm the kind of person who would prefer to get up early in the morning than stay up late at night. If I'm doing work. Because I can get... I can make my day feel so much more productive if I get up early. Uh, so I'm, I'm fine with um, starting my streams at this time. I am looking forward, however, to when Daylight Savings starts here. And Daylight Savings finishes for those who have it in the Northern Hemisphere. Because then... I can sort of start my stream later, but it's actually earlier for most people. Uh, which means I should be able to uh, start my stream late enough that I can get up, do all my stuff, and take Charlie for a walk, then start streaming. Uh, taking Charlie for a walk at the moment is freezing cold, and also usually a little bit too tight on time. No, no, no. Capac's not a night owl. He's a sleepy owl. Night owl implies he's awake at some point in the day, in the 24-hour cycle. And that's just not true. <laughs> he's sleepy regardless. All right, I've got my hammer. All right, I'm going. If I realize I've forgotten something, we'll have to make do. wonder... I reckon this horde base is going to continue to be my horde base for another week or more. Because I made this place so big, the new place so big, that I don't think I'm going to be in a position to defend it for quite some time.
Uh, Charlie does have some winter clothes. She's got a couple of jackets. Um, I needed... We, <laughs> we needed to get her some winter clothes because uh, dog training's in the evenings. So... Uh, in the middle of July, it was probably about... Might have even been down to like six or seven degrees. And she is a short-haired dog. Therefore, uh... I'm not going to kill that bear. Therefore, not very able to keep herself warm. So, had her in a little jacket. Um, the first... The first, uh, dog training we went to when it was that cold before I'd forgotten to put the jacket on her but it was in the car and she started sneezing repeatedly I'm like oh okay you're cold <laughs> put the jacket on sneezing stopped so she was <laughs> she she must have been actually cold yeah Bentley but Charlie's fur coat is not particularly thick uh, so she definitely gets cold I do want to eventually start defending my actual base. I've mentioned this numerous times, the whole idea that if I if I have two bases, it kind of it takes some of the stress out of the Horde Knight because I won't lose all my stuff. But also, it means I have to do this traveling every Horde Knight and I have to do all this prep. Whereas if I'm defending my actual base then it's all just done there and it's done during the week and I can get a better idea of where I'm up to. However, having a horde base does have the advantage of laying out landmines being much safer as a general prospect because <laughs> I don't have to, uh, I don't have to worry so much that I'm going to run over them during the middle of the week. Set a horde timeline for the shift to add pressure. Oh, uh, I think I think in other stream series I'd definitely be tempted to do that. Uh, but in because I do want this to be somewhat chilly, although the jump scares in the recent weeks would probably go against that. Um, somewhat chill. I'm not sure I want to set myself a deadline and be like, nope, you must be in by this point. You're just going to have to deal. Because it'd be horrible if I did lose my whole base just because I moved in before I was really ready. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Am I being too soft on myself? Should I up the, the difficulty and the challenge? Uh, Charlie does not have a merch jacket, but she does have a, um, cat pack dog bandana that is on its way. Um, and I cannot wait to take a photo of once it arrives. Because the, the way Black Shadow's cat pack picture looks, hopefully I'll be able to position it on Charlie so it looks like cat pack's grabbing on for dear life. Um, that was the idea anyway. Well, it's not just me defending it, hopefully. Hopefully I'll have, um, Nan Nan and Bruce Bruce doing some defensive work for me. But yeah, I get what you mean. It is a big area for one person to defend, uh, which means I do need to have a lot more defenses established before I can feel like I'm somewhat safe there. Uh, the helicopter thingy is a long, long, long way off as far as I understand. The gyrocopter. I'm just stoked I've got this bike. The bike is so much quicker than the mini bike, and, got, and has so much more storage. I am tempted to make the 4x4 though. How oh, delightful. I'm just going to let it chase me.
Whoops. Still chasing me? Uh, it seems to have stopped just there. Whoops. That'll be driving the wrong way. I hate how loud the 4x4 is, so I just stay with the motorcycle usually. Hmm. I wasn't aware that it was particularly loud. Oh, that's right. Last time I came here, I did the whole wood choppy chop thing. Um, once I ran out of stuff to do to prep. But I guess this time I can probably keep going with the iron mining. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh, that feels good. Uh, right, let's grab all the stuff. Uh, uh, building an elevated road when I can barely build my own house seems like um, not my best use of resources or time. I didn't bring a ladder. No. Why did I forget to bring a ladder? I'm gonna have to... Uh, that's annoying. I don't know how I'm gonna get around that. I don't think I've got a forge here or anything useful here. Poop. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, all right, ammo, put these away. That away. That away. That'll do. Uh, I need more ladder than the current one. The current one I can easily repair, but I can't build new ladder because I don't have nails. And I don't have an easy way to make nails either. What? They've added ladder to the form blocks. Oh, geez, they have. Okay. Well, that makes it easier. I do have a way. Cool. Is someone else killing themselves over on the spikes there? Alright, I'm going to start inside. Interesting, no floor. Um, okay, I think it's time to clear out some of this. Oh, that's really strong. I don't want to break all that, that's going to take too long. Fine. There is little left to tell that this was once a bar. Oh, that's really annoying. Why do these look... Those textures really didn't make it obvious which type of material they were. Uh, the name in green means you're a... member. And the blue star means you're a new member. Uh, you might have... If you didn't subscribe yourself, you might have gotten a gift sub last week. And 
this is possibly a waste of my blocks, but I also am aware that if I leave the ground too exposed, all that's going to happen is the cops when they explode or anyone else when they explode might undermine my walls and bring the whole thing tumbling down that way. Thanks, Robob. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't need to feel sorry for Capac. He's fine. Pick which bits are going to get the whole brick treatment. I'm possibly... Uh, it'll have to be some sort of some part of the outer wall. I imagine. Well, hold up. Wow. This was really close to potential collapse. Hmm. I think tonight could get uh, very interesting from a I'm going to fall into the zombie pit of doom perspective. I don't think there's much else I can do other than just hope that I put enough of these down that I've got some supports remaining by the end of the night. Part of part of the difference between this week and last, though, is I'm able to repair some of these blocks because I've got some mortar. Which I've not previously been able to do, so they were accumulating damage week to week. Uh, let's... My sleeping bag's down this end, so I might try and support that end of the building the most. Uh, when you don't have a choice, when you know you aren't going to be able to keep them out, it's best to keep the roof standing. <laughs> I am absolutely confident that the zombies will make their way in. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Morbo does feel appropriate here. Oh, this whole thing's gonna get trapped. It's not like I'm not putting the traps in. I just know that with one person and the number of zombies that come, uh, keeping them 100% out is an impossibility. Uh, it's just something to be accepted as an inevitability. So I've just got to try and make sure that as they break their way through, there's enough support still remaining that my that I don't fall into them. Because yeah, based on the previous Horde Nights, this... This is going to take a brutal amount of damage, 
and has a very good chance of collapsing at some point. In fact, if I'm going to do the brick there, let's break the floor out. And we'll go brick right down to dirt. In fact, let's even go a block lower. Uh, if I die, I respawn on a bedroll uh, and have a whole bunch of death-related penalties, which are going to make surviving for much, <laughs> surviving for very long after that, difficult. Um, it's not permadeath, it's not like, this is my game over sort of thing. But there are enough penalties from dying that it is very much best avoided. Out. Charlie, come on. You know you're not allowed on my desk. Or, you know, words to the effect of, you know you're not allowed onto my desk. Yeah, I'm... I'm fully anticipating some new nasties this Horde night. Possibly even the Demolishers. Alright. Oh. Random loot. Okay, let's put some spikes on my hot bar. Start laying a few out as I close off the little spaces like that one. Uh, let's get this wall closed in. Having the storm outside is really putting me off because it makes me feel like it's already very late. And I know it's not because it's only 10.30 in the morning. So I've still got plenty of time. But it keeps making me feel like I don't. I reckon I'm going to want concrete around here very soon. Probably want concrete here before I want it at my main base. Probably a good chunk of you, Raymond. Probably a good chunk. But also to hear the random natterings before I inevitably yelp in surprise over something. You know what? I'm going to do this whole front wall double. Just slightly increase the chance that some of the pillars will remain entirely intact from ceiling to floor. Um, Bandelier, I don't really have an answer to that. Because if you didn't have engine limitations, then you would want to be able to go whatever speed and have the game designed around that being the reality. Yeah, I got plenty of ways out. <laughs> this thing's Swiss cheese. Uh, 
Oh, that's what I should do. Should make sure at least one of these pillars is uh, three by. Ah, oh, you idiot, Splitsy. Why did you. You. Arr. Oh, also. Oh, no, wait. That's right. The flagstone's 1200, the cobblestone's 1500, the brick is 1800, and then. Who, can't remember what concrete is. Uh, yeah, but make one of them three by three, because then they'd have to demolish either the floor or the roof on one bit to get into the middle to hit the remaining middle piece. Which in theory should make it less likely to get destroyed. So do this. Because they do tend to just destroy everything at the second block off the ground. Uh, uh, there's, there's not much point here doing that sort of thing on YouTube because there's no prediction feature. It's a poll. So it'd just be me asking you guys a question and uh, I have a feeling I know the answer. <laughs> okay, I probably should e just fill in the gaps now because I've only got 31 left. Uh, they do go for the fastest path, weakest slash weakest block route, but when they don't have a route, they just start bashing things. Um, which is actually the part of the, their behavior that I like. Because it's the bit that makes sense to me. That zombies would do that. Based on, you know... The very vague zombie lore that exists in general. Sixteen left, okay. Those five are going to have to be used for my way out. And I've got some wooden frames that I can use to make the ladders, so I don't need to worry about ladders. And there goes a plane, which I'm going to have to ignore. I'm pretty sure Swiss cheese is the... Um, anglicized name given to a particular type of cheese which is typically made in Switzerland that has holes in it. Oh, it's just on the other side there, isn't it? That's so tempting. But no, no. Okay, uh, spikes. Spikes inside, landmines outside. Someone's making a mess of my spikes outside. That's just rude.
Just rude. Do I even have enough of these to go beyond? Oh dear. I'm a little bit worried I'm not actually as prepared as I was last week. I can't remember how many metal spikes I had last time. I felt like this was more, but it might... It actually might not be. through there? Yes. <sighs> Curse you wanderers! Yeah, I definitely have fewer spikes than last time. I think I decided last time that the spikes didn't really achieve all that much anyway. Oh, that has no health. Let's just break these two and place them. Don't know how many of these bricks are non-damaged. Uh, very few. Okay. Well, that's not much point doing much more than that. All right, ladders. Huh. This makes ladders I can pick up. Interesting. Very interesting. Whoops, shouldn't have put that one down. That's an annoying spot. My sea of spikes is no more. This is all I got. Hopefully it's enough. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. All right, landmine time. Arguably the landmines might take out more of the zombies than the spikes did anyway. But I'm really not feeling super confident about that. I wonder how far these have to be apart so they don't chain. Oh, 
I don't think these have much AOE. I think they're pretty minimal because they're the cheapest of the landmines. Um, but... I'm still slightly worried they'll set each other off. Or they'll end up destroying a lot of my defenses as they explode. Ow! Curses! <laughs> Ow, I stood on my one from last week. The only one that hadn't been blown up. I didn't see it. Ow. Uh... <sighs> it wasn't even the ones that I was placing now. It was one it was the remaining one from last week that I forgot was there. <sighs> Okay, landmines placed, walls rebuilt, and now it's 2 p.m. and I don't have much to do. Except fail to jump onto my ladder. Okay, I might want to apply a little bit of healing. Get those hit points back. Let's sort out a few things. Uh, that can stay off my hotbar, that can go onto my hotbar. That can stay off and that go there. Don't need those, don't need those, don't need that, don't need that. Might want to put those on the hotbar. That and that. Uh, where are my repair kits? I think I've left them in the bike. I have no more materials, so if there's a hole on the other side, there's a hole on the other side. I don't see no hole, though. Oh, I left, the, I left a single block where the front door used to be. There is, however, no actual hole there because I doubled that. I just missed one block with the double. Capac being at fault for something makes it a co-op stream, I think is what you mean to say. Uh, right. So we've got crossbow with bolts. Bow with arrows. Those are still bolts. Oh, that's right, I was going down to get the- Arr. I was going down to get the dang repair kits so I can repair my crossbow, but when its durability drops during the- Oh, no! Why do I keep making myself run through this minefield? Yeah, it does feel a bit weird having the uh, 
the roof's so empty. Oh, that's what I should do. I'm going to drive to the trader and see if her vending machine has any of the beneficial candies for Horde Knight. Because that would be useful. Making sure the green dude wasn't on my right there. Looks like we're in the clear from that. <laughs> the Capac trainee midweek also does a decent job in simulating certain behaviours. It's true. Um, there's a reason TFE and I get along. It's because he... He does some things that... Uh, Yeah, he, he gives me grief in the in a very similar way that Capac does in some regards. Which makes it quite fun to play together. Skull crushers, melee damage, covert cats, sneak damage, atom junkies, explosion damage. Well, none of that seems helpful. Also, I left all my money on my bike. Yeah, TFE wakes up in the morning, which makes him more useful than Capac in a lot of regards. Because <laughs> he actually is available at useful times for doing stuff and helping me fix various uh, ACS-related troubles. Oh, hold up. I've really? got to check something. Well, okay then. Ooh, those need repair. All of that needs repair. Um, well, that's not good. What do these repair with? Leather armor repair kit. I might actually have to go back home and repair these. <sighs> that's bad. That's really bad. Uh, I might actually have to ride quickly as well. Use more fuel. Make sure I get there and back. It's the last thing I need is for my armor to break mid Horde Knight. Uh, you cannot drive around during a horde by a horde night uh, with Ravenhurst. You can in vanilla, but you can't in Ravenhurst. Uh, there is an EM pulse that goes off and knocks out all your vehicles, or some sort of EM field shenaniganry to stop you from cheesing the horde night that way. I thought your bicycle worked. But bicycles, you are much harder to keep away from the very fast sprinty zombies. Okay. So they did do it to the bicycles. That's a bit silly. I I feel like bicycles you should be you should have this false sense of security on them. <laughs> and then get cha get chased by something that's faster than a bicycle anyway. my leather armor. Half, I'd be half tempted to make new leather armor. But I don't think I've got enough leather lying around. 
See you, Bandley. Well, there are ways to cheese the stamina thing on bicycles and still get decent speed by tapping the go button. Uh, so the stamina side of things is easy to get around, but if, if the zombies are straight up faster than your bike, they'll hit you, catch you, stun you, and kill you. Or even those same words in a slightly different order that makes more sense. Four o'clock. Yeah, we should be alright to get there and back. Yes, especially in Ravenhurst, it is better to stay alive. In regular seven days, it doesn't really matter too much if you die. As long as you can get to your stuff. There's really not much of a penalty other than, oh, I've got to go back and get my stuff. But in this, there are a whole bunch of death penalties. Um, like reduced stamina, reduced max wellness, things that make you die again more like, uh, make you... Things that make dying again more likely. I can't make sentences this morning. I've died... Three times. This current life is going for almost 71 hours. So I'm rather attached to this one. <laughs> it's been going for a long time. Oh, yeah, it is on my HUD down the bottom left. That is true. Uh, no. Leather. Twine and duct tape. Uh, might have military armor repair kits. Cloth armor repair kits. No, I don't. I think I will just repair my stuff. Yeah, 411 is still pretty good. Cool. And there's not really anything else I can grab while I'm here, but I can drop off a whole bunch of stuff so I don't have to bring it back. player kills? I do have one player kill. Yeah. I must have killed Nurse Ratchet. I think I Mercy killed her. I was trying to kill the zombies that were attacking her and I might have missed. Which obviously is not ideal. Ah, whatever. It's just wasting time. Oh, hang on, there's one thing I do can definitely can drop, which is those. And the beer. Uh 
actually before i go i'm gonna eat and drink I might... Do I have a skill point? I do have a skill point. But I needed to spend those... I need... Yes, I, I needed to spend that skill point to get the next level in... Um, the... Brain need to work, but not working. In the archery tree of stuff. So that I can unlock... The compound bow so that I can finish the quest of my archery training. Although I have a feeling I have to go one more level beyond that because the chain reward isn't there. Oh! Yeah, actually, you could be right. I think the Harley Quinn one was the player killed. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I don't think I did... I don't think... Well, either killing the original Nurse Ratchet didn't count, or I didn't kill her. I'm going to go with the second of those two, because it feels better for me. I'm also going to quickly fill up my water bottle. Because I'm thirsty. Feeling like an old man today. Yeah, I guess we could check on a previous stream to see if um, the uh, if the killing of Harley Quinn put up my player. Oh no, we can't because we don't see it. And I do not recall the last time I looked at anything that uh, showed anything related to it. I haven't seen many of the random AIs. Decapitation! Meaty. Screwed. Um, feeling like an old man today, so you're feeling like Capac. Yeah, yeah. Groaning when I go to stand up because it's cold and my legs are sore from yesterday. Just doing a bunch of stuff around the house. But also because I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, which is why my voice is a little bit off. A little bit more nasally than usual. Yeah, I may want to speed up this trip home. This trip back to the Horde base. Yep. That was good timing. That lightning strike had perfect timing. <laughs> Uh, 
yes, I've grewed as the uh, as the stream title would uh, support as well, and the red forty nine. Uh, this is indeed Horde Night. Oh, that's not good. Ah. Uh, I'm glad to provide you with some, uh, older entertainment during your, uh, COVID lockdown operator. I did test myself yesterday and it's negative. I don't feel that unwell, I've just got like mild sore throat and a bit stuffy nose. So I think it's just a cold. But it, uh, it does make me wonder how my voice is going to sound by the end of today's streaming. May they all start sounding like this by the end. My voice certainly sounded a bit off. Uh, I was editing the next Assertive Acquisitions last night. My voice definitely sounds off in that one. A little less energy behind it because it just sounded that way. I wasn't feeling off or anything, it was just, it just sounds wrong. It's just kind of annoying. You can do a capback stream and just not, not speak at all. Yes. I feel like capback should do a um, just chatting stream and just be the way he is normally and just do it for the irony. So, the base is as ready as it's going to be. Uh, F Grood, there are multiple videos on this channel with my face on it. Do a little bit of diggy diggy hole while we wait for the Horde Knight to come. Ah uh, yes, the Lego streams especially. I've um... I kind of shot myself in the foot with getting more Lego streams out. One by having a dog that chewed up the Lego project that I'd been working on in the first recent stream of it, uh, and two, by, well, putting so much time into ACS and getting it to a point where it is a, as an interesting foil for assertive acquisitions. Um, yes, Charlie is fine. She didn't swallow the Lego, she just chewed it. But she destroyed probably 50 pieces for one of my, for the 6x6 Volvo <sighs> loader thingy dump truck, which is really annoying because it means I now can't build that set. A 
Still not the most expensive thing she she's chewed though. Um, she chewed my partner's uh, noise cancelling headphones. Those. That's the most expensive thing she's ever chewed. <laughs> Ironically, the vet bills for her tail still cheaper than those headphones. Uh, thanks to pet insurance. Because the pet insurance I've got is actually pretty good. And I'm pretty sure I've actually gotten a net positive out of it so far. <laughs> I imagine they are banking on her being a lot less vet prone uh, as she gets a little bit older. Break this. Hey, Tregnon! <laughs> oh! <Grr. laughs> Had to remind me that I screwed up the differentials, huh? Huh? Alright. Uh, yes, I stuffed them up again. Hopefully, that's the last time I stuff up the differentials on that thing on a Lego build. <sighs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> I hope your new job's going well. Yeah, Charlie's got heaps of other stuff she could chew, but when she gets left on her own, uh, she is a nightmare. Whether she's had a walk every day or not, it doesn't seem to matter. She just is an absolute nightmare. And she's now started doing something really bad, which is actually going to be quite annoying for uh, me during the week. Yesterday, she decided that taking clothes off the... Clothesline is fun. She did that while we were home. So now I can't leave anything on the clothesline while I'm streaming to let it dry. Unless I keep Charlie locked in the shed with me. Because she a monster. Oh, that sucks, Silver Comet. That really sucks. Yeah, Lars. Uh, my other half and I both want to get another dog. Uh, but we wanted to wait till we had Charlie somewhat... Uh, ...trained before we bring another dog into the mix. So... ...getting her where she's consistently coming back when we call her name... That sort of thing. Because <laughs> the idea of having to chase two dogs uh, sounded like all kinds of pain. That we didn't want to endure. Dog it. Dog stick in the yard. Eat the garden plants and chew random bits of plastic when left unattended. Yep, that's Charlie. Charlie has almost entirely dug up one of the footings of our back deck. She has eaten most of my partner's succulents. Um, she has <laughs> chewed everything that's in the backyard, including taking apart wooden lattice by pulling the wood off with her teeth. Uh, yeah. She's Destructo Dog. 
I'm going up the top before it gets too late and I forget and then I run, rush, hit a landmine and injure myself badly before the night even begins. Oh, I had it. Destructo dog is what you'll want in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, yeah, probably. Ooh. Prescription glasses getting eaten. That'd be bad. I find it fascinating that Australian shepherds actually have nothing to do with Australia. And they're actually from California. <laughs> Time to call Caesar. <laughs> uh, I used to watch that show with my mum. Oh, 750 bucks for the new glasses. Yeah. Now, Charlie's Charlie's getting a lot better. Um and that me that makes me feel even more confident that we made the right call in waiting. Uh for me, she will like it's been a long time since she hasn't come back to her name when I've let her go out the front of our house. Uh, the interesting test will be when I first take her to the beach to see if she comes back then. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just dropped that corner off. Whoops. Charlie can destroy anything. She's a 40 plus kilo dog. She big. And she got and she's strong. So <laughs> she's quite capable of destroying whatever she wants to. Um Oh, that's annoying. I put that the wrong way. It's a feature piece. It's on purpose, totally. There we go. Bit of a safety net. And I have to break this. We were actually, before we got Charlie, we were dog sitting for one of our friends. Um, they have a greyhound and she's very anxious. She's a very anxious dog. We, we thought she was happy enough uh, being in our laundry, being on a on her bed in our laundry. She was chill. She'd, she'd lay down, and then in the middle of the night, we hear this scrunching noise. I'm like, what on earth is that? And I wake up, went down, checked on her, and this was in our rental as well. She'd chewed the door frame and just taken strips of wood off the door frame. And yes, Charlie loves the beach. She is getting more confident with the water as well. Uh, we've got lagoons near where we are, so there's calm water for her to go running into and having fun. But she loves digging, so she loves the beach because we let her dig.
Uh, I'm glad, Silver Comet. I'm glad. Because that, that is true. Like, much as she does a lot of things that annoy me, I'm... I don't... I wouldn't want to not have her. She's my dog. Uh, don't usually have to hose her off too much, actually. Because she's got such light fur, it, the sand just drops all off. Yes, I can imagine uh, there are a few dogs in Norway that are excited about getting in the water. <laughs> Maybe a Labrador or a Golden Retriever would still be. Uh, <laughs> with how much colder the water is, I imagine they don't particularly like it. Why did Capac and I stop being housemates? Uh, because I wanted to buy a house with my partner. And... I had to eventually let my adoptive child go out on his own. <laughs> Alright, here we go. One minute. Whoa! Ow! Seriously? <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, I love this so much! I love this so much. <laughs> there are so many cops out there! Ow. Oh man, that was a terrible shot. I think I'm going to get more kills tonight, though. <laughs> yeah, being able to pop them after I knock them down once is really helpful. Keep an eye on my bow each time I reload, because I think with the triple shots, I'm going to be a lot more likely... Whoa, okay, Molotov time. Ah, oh, dang it. I hate it when I click the wrong button, because I forget which one sets of the light. Jeez. 
Yep, the tavern is open. They are inside. Time for me to go into my cage. I think. Oh, almost. Oh yeah, here they are. Still eating the landmines. <laughs> oh, how are you still up? Okay, I think I'm holding them there for the moment. Got to try and keep holding them. Come on, come back! I want to shoot you! Where are you? Oh! <laughs> I love the landmines so much. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. That's such a good sound. Um, the hordes can be, like just in the vanilla game, even set to not seven days. They can be set to random. I just like seven days. Because I feel like it gives you planning and prep time that makes the game more fun. Okay, they're really inside now. Oh, come on. Gotta hold it. What time is it? It's not even midnight yet. I'm really glad that the vultures don't seem to be able to make it in that little door very easily. Might have to deal with that vulture in a sec. Oh, there are two. Oh, I missed. Okay, deal with the abrasion. Deal with the infection later. Uh, 
Um, I have grenades. I don't like using grenades. I probably could use some Molotovs, but I'm always worried that I'll kill myself with them. If I use, particularly if I use them in an enclosed space. I did use some Molotovs earlier, at least. Or at least one effectively and one terribly. Okay, durability's almost out. Be real careful here now. Alright, durability's done. No, what do I repair this with? Hello, I have a repair kit. What? Repair with repair kit. Repair kit. You're kidding me. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Why on earth with the... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say re advanced repair kit, though. It just says repair with repair kit. Ow! So there, I suspect the description is just wrong and it's an advanced repair kit. Which unfortunately I do not have. Ow. So that's going to slow down my killing. That's really annoying. So I thought I'd done the right thing and I hadn't. Well, because the description's wrong. I did think it was a bit surprising that it would repair with a standard repair kit. Uh, maybe it is time for some bullets. I think that's gonna work. I think I'll run out of ammunition and durability before I can do anything. I think I gotta save that for if the walls start to collapse. There's always the that thing. It's like, do I shoot now and hope I can stop my walls from collapsing, or do I save it for when my wall collapses? So that I've got something to actually kill effectively with. Ah, uh, fire arrows are way too expensive. Cannot afford them.
Oh, I was getting so many kills too. On the faster fire rate, it was so good. Wonder if I could use it with a with steel bolts next time. Wonder if I can afford to upgrade to steel bolts. Ow. Oh no! Okay, that didn't work. Yep, cannot throw these through the bars. Good to know. foot instead of her head. Great. I think at least this crossbow I should be able to repair with my repair kit. What's the time? 143. Oh. Why are the ones that I get couple of shots on, always get themselves hidden. Uh, you outside? Not really. They'll just go straight inside. Okay, so I can't use the Molotovs. Um... Great. You know what? Let's do this. I know the crossbow does more damage, but I think it's time to use these up. And just have crossbows here next time. Kind of sick with how s of how slow the crossbow fires, and not being able to get the second shot before they get up. That's why the repeat is so good. Stunned and got an extra damage. <laughs> Gatling gun. Yes.
That's the way. And flam. And flam. Nope, missed. Dang it. Two twenty nine. Not too much longer to go, just under two hours. Looks like my walls have held for now. Because for some reason, despite the zombies in the points of interest getting horrible, the Horde Knight ones seem to have just upped to lots of cops. We haven't got the demo ones yet. Or any of the um, behemoths and horrors. Kill these spiders off before I have to go down there. Uh, if I made this a massive pit, they'd destroy the walls and I'd fall into the pit. <laughs> Eventually. You do need some form of active defense in this. Really. Well, my brick walls lasted, but I don't know if it's got any support underneath it. Man, I wish I could throw a Molotov into that. So much. Oh no, there goes a bit of my brick wall. I don't want to have a hole in the floor that I can fall into, thank you very much, because that's exactly what would happen. I would rather be limited in the tools I have available than have a situation where I fall into the middle of my own base. As funny as I'm sure people would find it. There's, there's just no way I can actually make any sort of sensible aiming with this writhing mass of zombies that's down there. I just kind of got to go for hitting one of them and just hoping that I'm slowly thinning the herd because it's now 3.30ish. So just half an hour to go before I've got to go down there and clear them all out. Take that off. Eh, I'll repair it. Why not? Three 
336. Don't know how Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the When did all this get damaged? Oh, that must mean the cops. Oh no. Okay. Uh I'm gonna need something stronger next time, because that I could have easily been attacked by a vulture with that. I am very lucky I didn't. Also, situational awareness apparently is my middle name. Big lady. Here. Yeah. Alright, it's morning. Yeah, let's let's go down and kill him. Let's do it. Uh, all right, so we got a landmine there. Oh, hello. Hey, you dead? Oh, nice. Okay, so if I run to my bike and then make a stand over there, I should be able to escape if I need to. running down this early was a mistake. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, there we go. All the ferals are down now. Man, do some of these guys have health. Okay, maybe not all the ferals are down. Conga line! Uh, 
heard you behind me. Dang it, this is actually still a lot of zombies. Okay, that's hopefully got bleed on a few of them. Come on, die. Die so I can loot. There we go. What loots am I going to get and where are my landmines? <laughs> Still a couple of landmines out there. That's going to make it fun for putting down the next ones. Ooh. I think those were night vision goggles. They were. I don't know how much I'm going to use the night vision goggles, largely because I think they look terrible for you guys. Yeah, like that's the night vision goggles. Oh. Dog. Hmm. Like, I always found the green to be quite overwhelming. I mean, I'll keep, I'll keep them for Horde Knight and the like, just as a backup at least. Personally, I prefer a bit of colour, and because we can use headlamps, it's not that big a deal. Is that all the loot? I think that's all the loot. So, uh, my brick pillar worked. It survived. I think there's actually... <coughs> Excuse me. Despite having fewer... Spikes, I think I've got more walls than I did last time. I reckon part of that's because I repaired some of the damage stuff. Which I didn't do the previous time. Because I couldn't. Sweet. Uh... Guess it's time to get out of here. Figure out what it takes to repair my repeater crossbow. Good night. Bad you can't combine the night vision goggles with a rifle scope. Ah, uh, you can. If you have both on, I think they work together. But maybe not? I'm not sure. I think they're used to, at least. The other downside of the night vision goggles is that if I wear them all the time, I don't get to keep my nerd goggles on. And my nerd goggles are giving me significant XP boosts. Speaking of XP, halfway to level 50. 
Okay, that's the fake one. The one that landed yesterday was over this way somewhere. if I can spot it. I'll just do a quick drive-by. Uh, anything to sell off? Maybe that, so not much. I did get another two-time scope, which is nice. Oh, no, wait, that came out of my thing. <coughs> yeah, they can land in the middle of a, a lake. It is annoying when they do. I don't feel like searching much further is going to be worth my while. So... I think I have to head back home, drop off a bunch of stuff, and then come back for the shotgun messiah that we were looting last time. Because I don't think between my inventory and the bike's inventory, I've really got enough room to do looting now. I missed the chance to take the bike off a sweet jump, yes, but I also could have severely damaged the bike taking it off that sweet jump. And I didn't want to damage my bike. Come on, big guy. You can catch me. No, you can't. Sucker. See a fire strike. Ah, uh, yeah, Gunny. Horde Knight is done. But it is YouTube, so you could go back and watch it. Uh, so when you're riding a bike or driving a vehicle in seven days, you can left click, which allows you free mouse look, uh, and then you steer with W and D. Uh, so, sorry, A and D. Uh, and then you click to get back to regular mouse steer. I have no idea what the differences are with vanilla, because I don't play vanilla seven days anymore, because I don't like it. It's not serious... It's not a building game anymore, so I don't like it. This is, though. See you, V-Twin. It's still faster than the mini bike, though, so I'm happy. I'm tempted to use more fuel to get back quickly so that I can get back to the shotgun messiah and actually do that quest today. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you did, Martin. You did. <laughs> the landmines were awesome. I am so looking forward to having a full minefield set up. in the future. Although it seems like it's going to be pretty hard to do that because the landmines they require stuff that I think I need to loot for. I don't think I can make hubcaps or tin cans. Although maybe I can. I wonder if I can make a tin can mold. If I can make a tin can mold like the little tin can Maybe I can make a whole bunch of landmines. Nah, Daniel, the the mini bike is definitely slower than this. 100% slower. I 
I think the larger mines might damage blocks, but the smaller ones don't seem to do any significant damage to anything around them except for the thing that stood on them. Uh, fire arrows require duct tape, so very expensive. I think that was fire arrows. Yes, they de they definitely damage your foot. Yeah, the fire arrows, the explosive arrows, they just weren't, um, they're not viable for me as a solo player. They'd probably be viable with multiplayer because you can have one person spending more time doing resource collection, but for me on my own, it takes me a lot longer to get up to those high levels of resources so that I can afford to s spend some of these things on those on that stuff rather than just repair kits and the like. I can make regular cans, but can I make the small tin cans? There's there are two there's it's a different type that's used for the land landmines. Yeah, the Molotovs are really expensive. 300 fuel each. Do, 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 do. Good, my, my caged NPCs are still there. Uh, that can go away. In fact, modify. Let's take the arrow rest mod out of that. And then put it away. Now, advanced repair kit. Let's see if that lets me repair the thing. Yep, it's, it needs an advanced repair kit. Okay. Ammo, let's get rid of those. In fact, let's dump everything and then I'll grab out what I need. Cool. Don't need to carry those now. All this stuff. Wait, when did I cure my zombieism? I don't remember doing anything to cure it. Perplexing. Very perplexing. Interesting. Well, it's probably not something to complain about, I guess. Uh, let's put those on the bike. Save the stews. Yeah, this game has GPS. I'm fine. <laughs> I will survive. Oh, did I drink honey to put myself out? I thought I drank something else, but maybe it was honey. You're right. You're... Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. I think I drank honey to put myself out. <laughs> that is an interesting way to put out a fire.
Because, yeah, the... The first aid kit shouldn't be able to heal it. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I have more compost to do. See you, Daniel. Posting done. Accumulate some stuff. Uh, the building stuff away just quickly. And those. Oh, I don't need ten splints. But you guys are right, I should probably put some antibiotics on the bike. Yeah, it does seem weird that the... the cure to the, uh, zombieism is so simple. But, you know, whatever. It's a game. Means it probably doesn't bear scrutinizing it that closely. It's not worth doing. So we got drinks, we got food, we got splints, we got first aid, and we got anti zombie. Uh, I should have enough points now that I can make a compound bow, actually. That's a good point. I think I've got to spend these two points. Uh, I don't want to, but I think I've got to. Okay. What does the compound bow require? Forged steel, scrap polymers, leather, duct tape, springs, and twine. How much forged steel have I got? Enough. Uh, let's just get rid of some of this junk first. Da -da 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 -da. mod box is almost full. I might have to start separating that out. And we got tuna can and the blood. Brass, and then I'm good. Then we can start making this thing. So, all right, uh, forged steel, scrap polymers. Also needed twine, leather, duct tape, springs. Leather, duct tape, spring, and twine, which I've got. All right, how long does this take to make? Two minutes. Cool. Uh, I can then start getting that quest done, which means I should probably carry that bow instead of carrying the crossbow. Uh, 
but maybe I carry both and I ditch the lever action rifle because it's pretty weak. I don't really use it anymore. But I need to focus on using the bow because for my quest, I need to get 125 zombie kills with it. Uh, tomorrow, operator. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Vitamins. I should put some of them on the bike, too. Of course, the more I put on the bike, the less I can carry home. But I think on balance, it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I was talking about steel arrows and stuff, but I want to get back to uh, the town so I can do the quest first. So I don't want to stay around waiting for that because that will probably take me a little while. Oh, I just drank. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why did I drink so much water? I was looking at the wrong bar. Fool. Almost eaten through my bacon supply. And it should be ready now, I think. Yep, there we go. So we've got arrow rest and bipod. I think those are the ones that can fit on it. Or just the arrow rest. What else can go on a bow? Uh, I don't really want to scope on my bow. So I think that's it. I got much iron in here. I got a bit of carbon. All right, let's make some steel. While I'm gone. I need more steel because I want to make another machete soon. Uh, I've got the string mod on the crossbow repeater. Because as soon as I get up to the 125 kills, I'm going back to it because I'm pretty sure... Maybe I should check. Pretty sure it does, yeah, a lot more damage. Durability is less obvious because it's 100 points less, but 20.6 more damage. Where did that arrow even go? Be one kill. I'm hoping. <laughs> Wait, what's the next one in the archery tree? Compound crossbow. Oh, don't tell me I have to do compound crossbow as well for this quest. Yeah, I probably could refuel the bike. At least that much. I don't want to have to make a compound crossbow as well. Oh, that's another point I waste. Best thing for machetes is car leaf springs. Yeah, I can see that. Stupid, 
flower. Stop me from getting on my bike. I figure, based on how long it normally takes me to get through 100 zombies, I should be able to get through the zombies in... You know. A few days? I'll get through 125. Shouldn't take me that long. Hopefully, I'll... Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay. So, I need to make sure I get to the 125 around the same time that I get to level 50. Because if I do that, then I should be getting more than one point for getting to level 50. And so I should have the point available if I need it to do the next level of the quest. Uh, yeah, I do tend to lean toward bows in general, but I like the crossbow repeater for the damage it does and how quickly it um, puts out the next shot. Come on, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Fine, don't stop. Oh, I didn't reload this. It's not. I really need to stop getting tempted to go fast and use up my fuel. Come here, ground guy. Yeah. I do wonder how expensive the steel. Uh, arrowheads are. So I imagine they do quite a bit more damage. Alcohol and red tea, huh? Whoops. Uh, <laughs> yeah, supercharger mod I imagine makes you go faster. Also, I imagine you go faster when you don't run into a tree stump. All these things probably work together to make you go faster. Yeah. Space engineers develop bad habits, huh? I wonder if I'll get anything better than I got on the first pass through the Shotgun Messiah. I also wonder if it'll be any easier because I might get some radar to show me where the zombies are. Some of them anyway. What's that? That's probably like 10 kills so far? It's gotta be, gotta be around that mark. 
Uh, the spikes on the bike are visual, but the bike can do damage to zombies. As in, they're a visual thing only, I'm pretty sure. But the the bike can definitely do damage to zombies and animals and the like. Eleven fifty-five. I think I've got enough time to get through this place. doing that thing where I run out of lots of use lots of arrows again all right fetch and clear let's do this thing kind of preferred going through the front door last time Examples. <laughs> Dang clubbing zombie. there was something else on the other side of that wall. Interesting. I should probably loot. Oh, wait, I shouldn't loot too much. Because I need to clear out, do the mission first, then come back and loot. Because I need to go back to my dump pile. times. Okay, it's in here. Somewhere. There it is. Okay, let's get the courier thing. Uh, the loot respawns every 30 days, so... Not really practical to wait for loot to respawn. Um, I'm much more of the let's do missions for the trader because the trader force the traders make an instant respawn of everything in an area. So it's only clearing left to do now. No one's in here. Okay, that's the other side of that door. Now I just have the fun of this section that seemed like it's designed to overwhelm you.
Oh, I hear someone. Where are you? Oh, goodbye head. Oh, poop. Military Zumbo. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Shot him so hard he went into the floor. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Okay, those ones are all outside. Don't need to worry about them. Oh, hello. Good night. And good night to you too. Alright, gonna have to break one of these doors. Nope. Apparently that's wood on the outside at the moment. Oh, right, it was the wooden bars. Now it's... Okay. Right, I might reload this. And do that. And I can see a whole lot of zombies on my radar, which I hadn't been paying attention to. Delightful. Someone's beneath me. Oh, hello. Uh, means there's several through this door. Yep. What the? No. Just around there. So confused. Oh, maybe that downstairs? Well, when I've modified the zombies in the past, I've made the skater zombies particularly quick, uh, which made them an, one of the more difficult zombie enemies, which was kind of fun. Didn't make them Naruto run, but did make them more difficult. Ow! What the... Where were you? Her. Okay, where... Alright, I guess I'll pickaxe him to the face then. Uh, where's this one? Behind that wall. What? Where is that zombie? What? 
hello. Where did he go? I'm so confused. Where is that zombie? There you are. Yay, I did the mission. Okay, now I can loot. Okay. I think this is my... F is this, this is my first level 4 mission. I wonder what the payout's going to be. Also, how many of my archery kills? 50 of 125. Yep, uh, this won't take long. Hello. Really appreciate it if you weren't dancing back to side to side. I mean, it is nice of you come to come to the window so I can shoot you. So I do notice that glowing green, which suggests there's a cop out there. Still coming, or are they through another wall? Oh, hello. I guess you've made it. Hole in the wall. Oh, jeez, cop. Two cops. Back to this one. Back to missing. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to be all like... And now for some chill loot time, but no. You guys had to manage, manage to get through the wall, didn't you? Jerks. Also, that's junk. Goodbye. Seriously? How much how many hit points do you have? Oh dear. There's quite a few of them over that way. And that was a miss somehow. Get some snake kills for easy kills. Ah. Alright, I'll loot. Loot. Must loot. Uh, I have once managed to bring Wasted into Seven Days to Die and it wasn't his cup of tea. Uh, to the extent that at one stage he punched me in the face because <laughs> he was getting frustrated. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't wrong. I did... My character does have a very punchable face, but still... I do like the fact that in games like uh, Zomboid and there are a couple of others that do it where your character when you die gets turned into a zombie. 
so you can come across yourself as a zombie. Uh, and I think in some of them you even carry all your gear. So there's no, like, backpack to pick up or anything. It's you got to go kill your zombie self to get your stuff back. Which is quite a cool idea. Uh, frustrating, I imagine, for many, but... Concept-wise, kind of cool. I guess I could try and break down the trucks this time, see if I get anything good. Is that just a punchy one? That's just a punchy one. Well, unless I'm going to get some empty gas cans, that's good. Need more of those. Uh, the reason I'm not using the crowbar, for those who are familiar with how the crowbar works, is it doesn't seem to work on these particular vehicles. Uh, it doesn't get any more materials back. In fact, it seems to get less than the wrench when I tested it before. Snapped her neck with that shot. Yeah, Project Zomboid is very much... You're meant to fail. Um, which... If it was... A faster paced game, I think I could enjoy more. Uh, but with the pace being... What it is for Project Zomboid, I find it quite difficult to get myself in that uh, roguelike headspace. I tend to think of it more like a survival game like this, where I'm expecting to survive for a long time and expecting to invest in my character's development rather than, ow, rather than expecting my character to get de destroyed at some point and just move on to the next one and move on to the next one and move on to the next one. Uh, I find it hard to get myself in the right headspace for that, so I tend to, when I played Zomboid, modify it so that it suits my preferred playstyle more. Uh, which is why I haven't played it on stream, because I need to... I need to play it enough to remember what it is, the, what the settings are that I would need to change to have that kind of fun. And I haven't had time to do that. Yeah, the skill system is gross, but the time it takes to do those skills and the likelihood of your death mean that you don't... I think it, for me at least, uh, the investment doesn't pay off. So I don't... I don't want to have to deal with that part of the game, if that makes sense. Um, for me, the cost benefit doesn't work out to encourage a player like me to play the game the way that I think they intended the game to be played. Uh, I know it does for a lot of people, it just doesn't for me, so I, yeah, it hasn't worked out when I've played it more recently. What is that? Oh, it's a stack of paper and cardboard. Right. Uh, any of my Space Engineers mods? Yeah, they're all in the workshop. My workshop page for Space Engineers has actually got a lot of stuff now. <laughs> I think it's just the good stuff now. Back here. Uh, but yeah, the stuff that I changed within the mod for Ravenhurst 
is all listed in the description. Because I made some tweaks. Machine gunner. I am probably going to have to come back and grab some of this stuff. Because I think I'm about to be full. Yes. Alright. I did bring my lockpicks. I've got my lockpicks even on me. No, I'm not going to bother collecting the concrete. I don't think it's worth the time. I still haven't changed it up to make it worth my time. I think. I can't remember if I did or not. I don't think I did. just going to get the gun stuff and then probably uh, go to the trader and turn this in. Yeah, I'll loot the shop itself and then shouldn't be too long. Shouldn't take me too long. Uh, you think that, you think that any concrete you don't have to make is good, but with how little you get from the concrete piles, it's not worth your time at all. It's just a total waste of time. Uh, impact driver schematic. Nice. Helmet light mod, bunch of gold nuggets. Sewing kits. All right, let's go get the lootables from inside the shop. And any of the ones out here too. Yeah, Wayne, I've, <laughs> I've said it. I don't think I've done it. <laughs> I, think I, I think I keep uh, instead spending my time doing my... SE modding instead of fiddling around in the files here because it hasn't it hasn't been that bad to not have it because I can make the stuff myself so it hasn't been one of those must remember must do really important uh, I don't think there was any loot on the tables no oh wait there was thank you But ammo. Nothing there. Right, let's get these. Oh, another bow mod. String mod thing. Nice. Means I can put it on this. I'm glad they changed it so that I didn't have to find polymer strings to make the compound bow in Ravenhurst. That made it really horrible to try and get to the end of the compound bow side of things. The shop looted. And we got this bit at the back, and we're good. And it's timed pretty well because it's almost 6 pm.
Alright, how many zombies is that now? Where am I at? 72 of 125, another 50 to go. Not too shabby. Too shabby at all, actually. I'm very tempted to just go outside and just kill zombies until I get that quest done so that I can go back to carrying a single bow type weapon. Uh, because it does seem a bit annoying to carry two bows and their respective ammunition types because they're both different. Uh, I couldn't... I didn't try any of the handle type mods. Uh, but I didn't think they worked on the bows. Either way, I've, I've maxed out the number of things that can be added as mods on the bow. As it is. Yes, unless the next quest is compound crossbow next. True. But if it is that, then, you know, at least I've gotten to that step. Hopefully that's the last step. Sweet. Single, uh, single lockpick to get the whole thing open. Oh, hello. I didn't see you last time. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Like this. I missed this crate. Kafak would be very disappointed in me. Hey, Igloo. And another tool. Mod. Alright, cool, we're done. Let's get out of here. Off to the trader. Oh, I don't care about a couple of rocks. Do not care. That's stacked everything. Let's chuck it away, whatever we can. In fact, let's grab those out and refill the bike. Might ditch the clay. I'll pick it up if we happen to be lucky enough to have enough stuff. Enough room for it. Which I don't. So, what am I ditching? I'm ditching stones. I'm ditching rotten meat. I'm gonna ditch... That... And I might drink that. There we go. Sweet. Off to the trader we go. No, I still haven't dug up the treasure. Uh, I suppose I could give that a go. But in the remaining bit before it gets dark, I can <laughs> do a bit more digging down there. Uh, I've got the shovel. So that was pretty good. I am going to need to clear some inventory space before I go to the trader. Although I think it gets dumped on the desk. I'm just not 100% sure. And I don't want to lose my quest rewards. And you guys can probably hear Charlie making all sorts of weird yawning sounds in the background. Yes. Charlie, Charlie does very strange yawns. <laughs> and the like. And now she's going to do her thing of booping my elbow 
when I'm trying to aim. I can just see it now. I do have storage by the door at the trader. Which will come in handy. Yep, selling that. Well, Alrighty, Jen, what are you giving me that? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I think I gotta take this schematic. But a military vest? That looks very nice. I know the 44 is also good, but a schematic. Ah! Too many good options. I think I gotta take the vest. I gotta take the 44, don't I? Yep. I gotta take the 44. I've got a couple of motor tool mods, so I don't really need the schematic as such. Oh, Charlie! My aim's bad enough without you resting your head on my elbow. <laughs> yes, you're very cute. Uh, same stuff. Uh, may I see your inventory? Have you gotten any new things in it? Don't... Oh, the Great Heist. And you came all this way. Uh, what a waste. Can't let these zombies do damage to her hut. Da, 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 sell. Uh, Grandpa's Moonshine. Melee, re damage, stun, resist. I'll hold on to that. I'll sell this. I will sell this. I will... Learn an elixir. Ooh! That's a Horde Knight thing. Um... I'll sell this. I'll sell that. At some point I should probably stop selling the schematics and start breaking them down for point things, but um, well, you just brightened my day. I'm not doing that yet because I still think it's a ways off before I can actually do that stuff. Whoa. Nuts. Uh, sell that, sell that. Sell that, take those, sell that. Dump, 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 dump. Dump. Anything else to sell? Don't think so. Alright, may I see your inventory? Special stuff. Great heist. Buy. Uh. I feel like I should buy this. Because it's clearly something different to what I've got. So I'm doing it. Why not? I've got heaps of money. Four grip mod schematic. Yeah, why not? Let's buy that too. Do you have anything else that I want? Molotovs. Wow. Uh, okay, buying 12 of them is very expensive. Uh, can Miso, have to have landmines. All right, nothing else. Thanks for the business. Cool. Stay safe out there.
<laughs> rocket launch parts sound like something I might want. Uh, not something I need. I think I've just got to ride back. I don't think I've got time to do any digging. Uh, where am I at with the kills? Let's activate that quest. 84 of 125. Can I get enough kills before I get home? I did forget to sell a few things. Oh well. That's no big deal. I might stop for each <laughs> for the zombies I see along the way that are easy to hit. Like this lady here. Eighty-five. Forty to go. And this guy here. <laughs> are they kills or are they re-kills? I don't know. Because they're undead. Are they... Okay, 89. 90. Missed. Missed again. Okay, the hurdles are really making it her hard hit. 91. 92. 93. 94. <laughs> ah. Missed. Twice. There you go. 95. Un Undeadening. Yeah, something like that. Thirty more kills. It is getting quite late, though. Oh, there's a couple more. To miss. Got it. Got him. That, that's a fair question, Gruz. Hey, how's it going? Uh, that is a fair question. It is not a simple thing to define, either. Do viruses live? More than a hundred kills in a day. Yep, that sounds about right. And probably more than a hundred misses. Normally I don't want lots of zombies, now I kind of want a nice little mini horde. Uh, maybe we go this way. Maybe we find a mini horde over here. Oh, yep. Found some people. Well, sort of people. Okay, that's a long shot to try and hit from there. 
104. So close! I know it's getting late as well. The ah! Hundred eleven. Just another fourteen to go. Come on, I can do it. Oh, come on, hit. Don't have time for all these misses. Oh man, that was a terrible shot. Jacked at the last second. Oh, seriously? If I want to do this, I've got to actually hit them. Hundred and eighteen, seven more. Hundred and nineteen, six more. And the fog sets in at a really bad time. Come on, game, that's just mean. Level 50, three skill points, nice. Come on, five kills, five kills. <laughs> five zombies, where are you? I need five zombies. Come on, five zombies. Zombies. Oh, there's one. Four zombies. Oh, there's two behind me. Three behind me. Four behind me. That's two desi two to kill. Come on. One more. Helps if I don't miss. Got it. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be so many mystery floating arrows. Uh, I was definitely pushing my luck a little bit there with some of the long range shots I was trying to stealth kill with. What does the quest say? Archery training. Kill any zombies using compound crossbow. And that's the end of the quest tree. Okay. So one more point into archery. And I'm good. Cool. Okay, that's not too bad. Could be worse. Be nice to finally finish the journal quest. Cuz it's been <laughs> it's that it's that quest that just hangs over your head a little bit. Right from the very beginning. Okay, I am outrunning the... Okay. That's new. Uh, the journal quest at the end, I think, gives me the decorating table and the blueprint bench, maybe? Or one of them. Uh, which is quite useful, because then you can make schematics from breaking down other schematics. It's a worthwhile quest to finish. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to try and take that thing on at night. If it was daytime, I'd probably give it a crack, but... 
If it's anything like the um, hexapod thing, I uh, I don't think I have the means to kill it. Although maybe if I carry the magnum with magnum rounds, I might. That wasn't a spider. That thing had six legs and it was only using four of them. Well, six appendages. Indeed, operator, indeed. Uh, I'll check what the whole quest deal is once I get back home. I'd rather not do it while I'm on my bike in the middle of the night. Out in the middle of the snow. Yeah, it did look like a bit of a mantis type thing. Just fewer legs. That's a pretty successful day though. Got a quest done, got a magnum, survived the horde night, uh, got a new jacket to wear. Successful day all round. Really, Charlie? Is that what you're going to say? I'm not going to encourage this behaviour. No. She, she makes some really interesting noises. Uh, especially for a dog of her size. Alright, let's... Oh, these are... Oh no. Oh no, there's a zombie inside. Because my bedroll isn't here, so they're going to spawn here. Yes, Charlie, if you weren't so naughty, I'd let you outside, but you are, so no. <laughs> She's, yeah, lapdog attitude, crush you size. That is Charlie. Uh, Alright, let's take off my jacket. And let's modify this to take those out and put them into... My new fancy military vest. So then I can wear it. That there, that there, that there, that there. Uh, mods go in the mod box. Just now out of space or mods. Parts go in the parts box. And we go with... Oh, do I upgrade from the pistol to the magnum or do I take both? I think if I'm going to take both pistols, I need to ditch one of these. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll ditch... the Well, both of them actually. Because uh, I'm going to have to make the new one. What do I need to make the new one? Uh, oh no! No! Ah! Oh! Curse you, game! <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, tree weapons level 80 and I'm only at level 67! Yeah, Charlie's started becoming a bit more insistent with this noise, so I need to ignore it even more now. To train her out of doing it. So apologies for those of you who find it distressing. <laughs> She's actually not... 
Yeah, there we go. She just turned around and lay down on her bed. She's fine. She's just being demanding. Uh, yeah, so... Yes, level 80 is a ways off, which means I think I've, I'll stick with my compound crossbow because I think I get more kills with it. Because I can pull it out for more uh, intense moments. I think it's the best way to say that. Yeah, she wants attention. 24 magnum ammo. I don't need to carry 762 or 556 anymore, do I? I don't need to carry arrows. I just need more bolts, which I think I might have left at the other place. Poop. Uh, let's make a mold out of those in a minute. And plenty of food left. Uh, yeah, the repeater crossbow. That is what I meant. Okay, so I've got two and a half thousand empty cans. That's not too bad. That means I can go out and do some more mining, which I do need to do. Because I am pretty low on the fuel now. to the bike. Grab the rest of the stuff. Uh, Charlie's been more aggressively destroying stuff in our backyard. Even when we've been home. So, <laughs> she's, um, she can't be trusted uh, outside on her own anymore. I'm sure she'll get better as we've as she gets further through training. I'm just gonna chuck the mod up here for now. Just don't have anywhere else for it. Cause she's gotten better in a lot of other regards. So she's still a puppy, she's still a monster. Nails. Cement. And I forgot to put my money back in the bike. Oops. Uh, what was I doing with cans? I had a reason to for some cans of... Oh, that's right, they're food. So there are things I can cook in them. Alright, put my money back, and then I can do some night stuff. Yeah. Oh, she's definitely an absor adorable monster. But monster nonetheless. Okay, so, ooh, 600 when I make a new bow, sweet. I was going to look at making steel arrowheads, and that involves getting some clay, getting some boiled water, and going over here, making a mold. Um, yeah, T-Cross, I could probably do that, but 
I I find that there's plenty of time to do prep in the um in like the day before the horde night. So I'm not too worried about that side of things, I guess. Now, I think I'm only going to be able to make the steel ones from here. So I put that in. Let's type arrow. Steel arrowhead. Yeah. How many do I get for those 10 bits of carbon? Okay. Steel arrows are really expensive to make. Because for me, mining carbon takes a long, long time. So I don't think we're going to steal yet. Uh, I do, however, need to make more iron arrowheads. Which I wear. Where is the iron arrowhead mold? Huh? Oh, it ended up at the top there. I put it back in the wrong thing. Um... Yeah... I'm not, like, having an emergency supply of a weapon that's better than the one that I'm currently using doesn't really make se a lot of sense to me. Alright, brick. Make the bricks. Make all the bricks. That's a lot of bricks. Good. Uh... Yeah, that's a decent start. 140. Uh, how many arrow shafts do I have left? 76. I can probably make a few more. Morning, Gunny. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's... I guess... Yeah, I guess for me it uh, doesn't necessarily... I don't know. You could certainly argue either way, I think, on whether I should make the steel ones. I just... I am somewhat, though not particularly, I am somewhat limited by the number of arrow shafts I can make. So if I make too much up with the steel ones, then I'm going to have to use the steel ones, and I feel weird using the steel ones first when I won't be able to renew them with any degree of ease. Uh, if I make a new machete, it will be better, but... Uh, how much better? 247. Ugh, still not that great. And it's still not that great. Nope. Bolt. Not arrow. I left some spikes here as well. That's... That's bad of me. I had more spikes I could have used. Yeah, 247. That's not that much better. Maybe I... Now... <laughs> see, now I'm stuck in that position of... I need to get my archery skill up, but I also need to... I also want to get my knife skill up so that I can make a better machete when I make my next one. Ugh. 
I do, however, have two more points. And I was in the process of getting my living off the land up to level three. Which requires fortitude level five, which means I can buy it and get living off the land. Yay. Uh, the quality of the items depends on my own skill, not the ingredients used. Because there's no quality of ingredients, there's only my skill which affects how high the level is of the thing I make and how many levels are lost when I repair it. Yes, I am doing this. And I might get healing factor level 3. So my health comes back faster. Yes, I will. Okay, points spent. Weapons reloaded. <laughs> I just realized I was at a point where I should probably do that. Uh, I've put advanced bellows on some of them, and I haven't made that many of them yet, though. I will make more as time allows. Uh, right. What else should I be doing tonight? Uh, think about that for a sec while I take a quick bio break. I'll be back in a moment. Well, Charlie's outside now, so I'll find out later what she destroys. What could it be? What have I not realised was available for her to chew? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess mining is probably not a bad idea at the moment. I need more stuff from that point of view, and quest-wise, I've really just got these digging up things to do. I still haven't gotten... Wait, have I got the rain collector? Schematic. <gasps> I can do the... I can do the quest! I can do this quest! <laughs> Yay! Let's try and do this quest. Craft a wine barrel. Uh, nails, wood, forged iron. How many Capacs had to die for the bear at back screen? A lot. They're all dead. 
Dave. Uh, wine. I need two of those. Ah, uh, yeah, Jean Guy, uh, we have discovered the you can mer that that aspect of plate up. It is definitely handy to do it that way. Ah, uh, yeah, I could make heaps more bacon. The it's just the bacon's not very good. Um, oh no, I have to actually craft it, which means I have to stay here. Staring at it. Come on. Uh, then we got charcoal, which is over here. Then we need empty water jars, which are also over here. Then we need car air filters, which should be here. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Ah, good. I do have enough. Uh, and a top. Rain, catch. What? Duct tape. I forgot to grab the duct tape. Craft. Yes. Uh, bacon and eggs. They're still not that great in Ravenhurst. I think there are better foods I can make, uh, but I also but I need to farm for them. But I, at some point, I need to sit down and just make a whole bunch of different foods. I'm actually not that big a bacon fan. Like, I enjoy it, but I think a lot of things are made worse with it. Yeah, I think rain catcher here. Ooh, now I can make beehives. No, I can't, because I need to get higher and thingo. Great. Well, that was a whole lot of excitement for not much. Oh well. That was one step closer. I'm guessing. Wait, no, I should have un I have unlocked beehives. What? Yeah, unlock options. Living off the land. Living off the land, level 3, unlocks wells and beehives. But it's got the locked symbol on it. That's not right. That seems busted. Yeah, that's busted. Alright. Okay, let's just make sure before I do something. Unlocks wells and beehives. So I should... Correct. Like, I'm right about this, right? I should be able to make beehives based on that. Because none of these other ones say unlocks farm plots and beehives. What? 
Oh, they've got it on both. Nah. I've got the bees. No, no, no. The, the lock symbol shouldn't... The lock symbol means I haven't unlocked the thing. It uh, doesn't matter what you've got on you. It will... It, that's irrelevant. Uh, can I make wells? Yes, I can make a stone well. Ah. Uh, so the description... Erg. The description was wrong. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it's really annoying. If I don't get it on the next level up, I am just going to spawn in the schematic because it's clearly broken. But I suspect it will happen on the next one. <sighs> Alright. Day 51. I think... It might be time... To start, like, I think it's a day to work on the base. Uh, which means grabbing those, and putting the hammer on my hotbar. Seeing if I've got any more. Ooh, and I should probably go mine some oil shale today as well. And make some more fuel. I also think this sounds like um, a bit like a TIE fighter shooting. Wait, now there's a fly in my shed. Thanks, Charlie. Something about it that just reminds me of that. I think it's the... I mean, that might be where they got the sound effects from, because they did a lot of interesting things with Foley for those movies. go with a whole bunch of bricks. Oh, I need to make... What do I need to make mortar? Cobblestone, crushed sand, murky water. Alright, I'm gonna make some of that. Cobblestone... Crushed sand and murky water. Oh, I don't have much murky water left. Uh, maybe I should get some of this and make it. Oh, that needs a lot more fuel in it. back. 
Is this where I make this? Uh, mortar. No. Mortar. Yes. Uh, I think I've unlocked stir fry. I think so. I know that it's horrible, Jean Guy. I know that it is horrible. <laughs> um, come back and I'll be doing some more played up tomorrow. Alright, that'll do for now. You make so much noise, buddy. So much noise. What the? Oh. Okay. There must have been a wandering horde going past. That's really satisfying. <laughs> uh. See you, crazy Canuck. I guess now I start breaking down this old wall. One of the things I think I'm going to need to have done before I move here is at least some of the moat. And perhaps some electrification as well. I'm not sure. I guess if I can get turrets then I can protect a place that's this big. <laughs> One Canadian leaves another end. <laughs> yes, Rush. <laughs> uh, later today will be Dune. Uh, and that assumes that Capac didn't stay up so late playing Cyberpunk that he forgets to wake up today. So I did see him playing that late last night. How much stone and brick have I got? Not much left. Does this... Uh, before I run out of bricks, where do I have a damaged brick? Uh, it requires that. Con it requires cement to fix. Okay. No, that's upgrade. Surely someone was bashing on one of these somewhere. Oh, there's one. Okay, it requires mortar as well to repair. Mortar and brick. All right. So it's still going to be annoying to repair these walls until I make them concrete. But I have to go through all these phases to get them to concrete. I think... What did I... Maybe I added... Did I add concrete blocks? I did have concrete shapes. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. I should probably try and aim for those then. I can't remember why I didn't initially. Oh no, I've still got the rock in the wall. 
Uh, that's all the brick upgraded that I can do. I might go grab some oil shale, I think. Grab the oil shell, then get rid of the, the rock in the wall, replace it with flagstone and upgrade it. Um, I think that's a decent goal for the moment. Wait. Okay, oil shell is this one. Is that the oil shell of... I think I might have started digging down to both of them now. Looks like it. Diggy, diggy hole. Yeah, I'm gonna need the carbon too, but mining the carbon takes a really time. Huh. Okay. Rabbit hunting's easier. That's good to know. Nope, that's still sand. I could go looking for the treasure, but the treasure is actually a fair way away from me. Um, and I actually need <laughs> to make sure, I need to make sure that I've got fuel all the time. So it's important that I do collect some of this. Which is why I wanted to make my underground tunnels from my base all the way over here, but, uh, that's just going to be a called a long-term project that is going to constantly suffer delays and budgetary overruns. I think. Like every major public works. Was the were both treasures? Oh, one of the treasures is in the snow. At least that's closer. Uh, I was going to try and do Isaiah this week as well, wasn't I? That was the other goal for this week. Ah, oh, nuts! Trying to make an easy ramp in, and end up digging the wrong block. Yeah, Isaiah was meant to be this week. Uh, so... I mean, because Capac's likely to show up at any minute, I think we can start that in the next stream. We'll start planning for Isaiah and going in there and seeing what we can get from it. Because it'll need a fair bit of work toward it. And it means that... I can make sure I've got enough fuel and everything prepped. I really should test out my magnum, just for the fun of it. See if it's stopping power is as good as I hope it is. If I get overwhelmed. 
It sounds like a test subject is growling nearby. <laughs> that is satisfying. And one more. Yep, that's fun. Uh, confirm. Also attracts a lot of attention. we got so far uh 700 oil shale it's not that much uh i'm slightly scared about what the isaiah holds for me given the dramatic increase in dangers that I've been facing when going into these POIs. Because it's a big, big building. No. Add to the excitement. Also, I just realized something. Yoink! Mining harvest increase for 10 minutes. Let's get all the oil shell. Not just cops, but cops riding spiders. That feels like something that would be an EDF if the um, frogs could ride the spiders. Uh, Isaiah's not a tier 5 location, no. Which is surprising, but yeah, it's not. I presume it's a tier 4. Or it was meant to be a tier 5 and they stuffed up. Uh, yeah, it is, Gruz. Uh, yep, I guess giant spiders would probably have a decent chance against crocodiles. Maybe. Eight more minutes of this. <laughs> Hopefully my blackstrap coffees last long enough. I think... This could well put me in a position to not have to do any oil shale mining for at least a few days. Possibly a week or more. Should be great. <laughs> Imagine the webs from giant spiders. Not strands the thickness of hairs, but the thickness of power cabling. You don't have to imagine it, Gruz. Just play some EDF. And you'll see it. <laughs> Apparently they're coated in acid, too. Uh, 
All right. 1,200 already. Uh, if I knew where the carbon was and if I had some better tools, I would consider going and mining some carbon. Oh! Found another iron deposit. Nice. Or is that the one I know of? No, found another one, but it's not closer to home. It's further away. So that's not particularly helpful. Why do you think that is, Gundams? Um, there are a few games that I enjoy more watching than playing. Uh, a lot of the social elimination games, um, Trouble in Terrorist Town and, you know, Among Us style things, I've found I can enjoy watching certain people play those, but I, I do not have any pleasure playing them myself. Uh, the map show, you can find on the map, if you carefully look, pixels of the right colour to find surface markings for ores, but the surface markings don't indicate every single ore that's underground. There are underground deposits that don't have surface markings. At least there always used to be, and I think there still are, but maybe I'm wrong. But I think there still are, so there's a chance I may find iron closer to home than what I've found by looking at the surface markings, and I'm hopeful that's the case. Because obviously I need to find a lot of iron. Um, yeah, I do have a carbon site marked. It's just... I also find mining carbon hard at the moment because I don't have good tools for it. Although I wonder if I'm better at it now that I've got a better mining skill. A lot of survival, sandbox, and open-ended games. I find hard to play myself. I'm fine watching others. I find them kind of boring to play. Yeah, I guess... There's sort of a couple of factors to the open-ended games that I think can make it difficult for some people to enjoy. Uh, one of them being you have to constantly come up with your own goals, like, all the time. Uh, which I've always found to be relatively easy to do. But I know a lot of people struggle with that side of these games. But then there's also, as you, as you're saying, the co-op element. So I've, I'm very lucky that Capac and I are friends and we play these games together. Like before we ever made videos or did any of this stuff, we still played a lot of these games together whenever we had the time. Um, it's what we've both enjoyed doing. Um, so there is that side of things that I can definitely see being a big difference uh, in your ability to find them fun is having someone to play with. And, yeah, hopefully hopefully the fact that I do find it relatively uh, easy to come up with new goals and things I want to do, so much so that I usually have too many goals going on and lose track of which ones I'm actually doing, um, makes it more entertaining to watch. Because you know there's always something I'm working toward. See, I never play Minecraft for the the end. Except for the one time that Capac and I did that for the stream because we wanted to play vanilla and go to the end. But that's very much the exception for me. I, I play games like this 
to build something cool, to build something new, to... Usually just to build, because I like building. It's it's Lego without the expense and without having to um, worry about my cameras working. Uh, I got four more minutes of no, two more minutes of the mining boost. Oh yeah, and the cleanup afterwards. That's true, Capac. That is very true. And, and Lego without worrying about Charlie chewing on them. There's that as well. A minute 26. How much have I collected? Oh, look at all that. So much oil shell. I'm sorted for a little while. This is good. What I can probably do is... Um, before next week, try and find some time to jump on here and... Dig up a bunch of carbon. So I can make more steel. And also do a little bit of a test to see whether using a steel pickaxe is better for the carbon. Did my microphone work? It is now. You were muted before. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, how did the Horde Knight go? Uh, success. Uh, landmines, super fun. Can't wait to play some more Seven Days with you where we can actually use them a bit more. Ah. It was just awesome having the zombies constantly blowing up outside uh, while I was <laughs> shooting them inside. Just hearing so, these explosions going off. Is, is there something different from how they used to be? No. I just never used to use them because we always worried about stepping on them ourselves. Are you worried about that? It's true. I said, let's make landmines. And you said, no, we'll step on them and explode. Yeah, I think also having a separate horde base to my main base is making me more comfortable with them. Because uh, you don't have to navigate all the traps every time yeah. you want to make a sandwich. Exactly. So it's... I think that's probably the bigger part. But uh, now having had as much fun with them as I've had, I would probably still take the chance and set up minefields at home. Let me see. It's just the resetting of the minefields that's also going to be a pain and highly dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, when did you stop with your cyberpunking last night? Uh, did you I, stay I, up late and are tired, and so I have a bigger, I have a bit of an advantage today in June? No, I didn't. I didn't go go too bad last night. No. Uh, no, my sleep was disturbed by other things. Did your fire alarm go off again? No, the construction workers are at it again. I see. They were even going yesterday when I went to work on Sunday. You're not supposed to be doing that on Sunday. Roadworks? No, uh, inside the building. Oh. Must be desperate to get whatever it is done. If they're doing it on a weekend, paying well, penalty rates. I don't know what it could be that they're doing. They've been doing it for weeks. <laughs> uh. It's like a... Evil villain has decided to construct a secret lair somewhere in the building. <laughs> and they're doing it just... And their evil plan is to disturb your sleep. Yeah. Is that it? That's above me, so it's not even like a sweet underground lair. Oh. Maybe... Are they actually... What time of day are they starting their work? I don't know. It must be around like 8 o'clock or something. Because I think, like, weekdays they can't start any earlier than 7. Uh, but on week... I think on Sundays they can't... They're, it's even later that they're legally allowed to start work. That's noisy. Well... Yeah, I think it's like 8 to 10 or something. Uh, sorry, 8 to 4 on Sundays. 
And yeah. hello, by the way. <laughs> How's it going? I'm all right. I was having a power nap, pre-game power nap. Oh, no, he's going to be well rested. Oh, dear. Well, um, since everyone's pretty much here, I will wrap up my stream. We will head over to Twitch. So jump across to twitch.tv slash splitsy and twitch.tv slash kapakamaru. And we will be battling it out for the supremacy of the spice planet. Aha. Um, I won last time, so there's that. Get him. <laughs> uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with some more plate up with Kapak over on Twitch, uh, followed by some raft with the Nab and Kapak. And yeah, there's all that. Plenty more to come. And we will see you then. See you later, everybody.